nature is very complex and it's very difficult to understand the intricacies of nature and we're trying to understand the intricacies of nature in our nature series we will start talking with Shomi Banerjee an independent researcher now tell us something about God biome uh, so, latest research shows that uh, only 10% of the human uh, cells are of human origin, 90% are uh, microbial origin. And if we look at it uh, in terms of genes, 99% of the genes are microbial and 1% are humans. This has come out from the Human Genome Project. When they were sequencing the uh, human genome, uh, we found that uh, there are more genes of microbes than humans and when they started uh, analyzing it this is the result we found that 90 percent is of microbes so basically what i am standing in front of you i am actually not i but i am a super organism of uh, uh, trillions of microbes which are there in my body and the most important part where they are located is the gut now usually we associate gut with something to digest food and uh, uh, absorb nutrients and all that but uh, the latest research is showing that gut may be even more important than the brain or the heart or these vital organs in fact they might be running those organs because when we look at the the nerve transmissions the inter messaging between the gut and the brain uh, we find that the, there are more messages being sent from the gut to the brain through the vagus nerve than the brain to the gut which means it seems as if the gut is kind of uh, constantly in touch with the brain and probably instructing or informing the brain what to do or what not to do. So whether the brain is the central part or the most important part of the body or whether it's uh, coordinating controlling everything or whether it is the gut now this is the this is a debatable thing of course brain the, of course is uh, having its importance but gut is no, not just for digesting food it has so many other functions now let me give you some examples 70 percent of our immune system immune immune cells are in the gut 90 percent of serotonin is coming from the gut related with mood with uh, our thoughts our memory uh, our vital functions dopamine 50% of dopamine is coming from the gut so the old notions that a brain is the central part of the body and it's controlling everything is getting kind of uh, discoveries we are having in the gut and the gut contains more than 33 trillion microbes so trillions of bacteria are there in the gut and similarly we have billions of uh, billions or trillions of fungi we have nematodes, we have uh, different uh, organisms, uh, even viruses which are located inside the bacteria. So it is one inside the other, inside the other and it keeps on going. There might be even smaller particles, there are viroids, even there are uh, floating genetic materials. So life itself becomes uh, in the paradigm of whether it is living or non-living. Uh, this. Uh, uh, kind of strange things are there inside the body and those are the things which make us work think and function as a human we do say that we are uh, so and so but we are actually a conglomeration of microbes and this is not only restricted to human bodies it is it is there in the animals it is there in the plants it is there in the seeds it is there in the rocks it is in the air everywhere we have microbes uh, and microbes functioning in different ways and we also know in plants now that uh, there are microbes inside the plants and uh, they are having different functions they are providing nutrients they are they are uh, giving the flavor the taste and the resilience of uh, crops uh, towards uh, different types of climates or different types of biotic and abiotic stress so it's uh, and it's like so vast and so much unknown that we only know probably 1% of two or 2% of it. So mostly 99% of it is unknown. So in this kind of a paradigm, when we try to say that we have understood everything and we uh, cut or splice genes from here and there and put it somewhere else and then we can say that the such, such and such amino acids and proteins are coming out and they are functioning like that. 
I think it's a very premature statement because there are so many multiple factors and complexities involved that uh, it may not be possible to decipher in uh, somebody's lifetime or even multiple lifetimes. It's a constant discovery. And uh, in the process, if we don't uh, appreciate that discovery and start working with nature or start working with those systems, but rather challenging or try to dominate over those systems, then I think we will only lead to our own disaster and uh, we will actually lead to our own death than uh, leading to any development or any progress of humanity. Thank you.